What's up, everybody? I'm David Delano with WinnersAndWiners.com. Recording this on Saturday, but this is going to be your free NFL pick for Sunday, October 8th. We're going to talk about the game between the Denver Broncos and the New York Jets in just a moment. If you have not already, like, subscribe. I know I say it so often, so if you've heard me say it before. I know that you have already subscribed, and I know that you have already following me on Twitter at GetSportsStrong. Uh, we know we have the premium picks in the description. There's a link for that. There's also a 60% off promo code. Also, you're welcome, as always, to sign up for the sports books with first-time deposit bonuses. Uh, Caesars, DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM. BetMGM giving up to uh, $1,500 in first bet insurance if your first bet loses. We're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, recording this before the results on Saturday. On Friday, we had a best bet win with uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers and also a free pick winner in an obsolete game over the total between Harvard and Cornell. But we're talking some NFL football here, and I do have a best bet up on the site. Use that 60% off promo code for that or on my NFL three-pack. All right, so this uh, this um, AFC Championship preview between the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos, the pick here... I'm going to go with over 43 and a half points. Um, I mean, the obvious Denver Broncos dead last by far in the NFL, allowing 8.9 yards per play. And, um, you know, they've allowed 28 points or more in three straight games. On the other side, I think that the, uh, I do think that that momentum Zach Wilson got and the Jets got against the Chiefs was, was real. You know, the, Chief, the the Jets have had a tough go of it um, right now. I mean, the first game of the season, Aaron Rodgers gets hurt. The other three losses, the, well, in the three losses that they had after pulling off that win against Buffalo, I mean, they faced the top, uh, an offense that's in the top nine in yards per plate allowed in the Dallas Cowboys, the New England Patriots, and the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Big, big, big step down um, defense. Defensively, that they're going to be facing this week against the um, against the Broncos, forty three and a half. Think that this number is just too low. Um, even with that Jets defense, seventeenth um, in the NFL in yards per play allowed. I'm going to have to go with the over forty three and a half. That is going to be my free pick. Another slight lean that I just don't have it in me to pull the trigger on, based off of everything else that's on the card. Um, a little small lean on the Atlanta Falcons, point and a half. And I I know, I know last week I was on the Steelers, so I'm not pulling the, the trigger. Uh, but I think that after those steel, I mean, the Texans have looked great those last couple weeks. But now still on the road, I'm not sure I trust this Texans team. Really not sure I trust this Texans rush defense. I know Devin, um, I know Desmond Riddler has looked terrible. But if the Falcons can get up, I think that um, this could be the week that the Texans come back down to earth. So just a lean there, but I'm not on that one officially. But free premium pick for me that I am on officially, over 43 and a half in the game between the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos. Let me know what you guys like for this NFL Sunday, college football Saturday, Major League Baseball, whenever you're watching this. I do have a best bet in Major League Baseball if you're watching this on Saturday and Probably one for Sunday as well. So God bless. Good luck. Thanks so much for watching. Let's have a great day.